Good afternoon, high school football fans. I'm Joe Medley with East Alabama Sports Today. It's We're on our second talking football visit today <laughs> of the season, of the 2024 season, here with Welburn coach Jeff Smith. A uh, little, little house cleaning note before we start. Uh, yesterday at Oxford, uh, we tried to do the normal Facebook Live format. Uh, you know how tinkerers love to tinker, and apparently the, the Facebook Live format's changed and wouldn't let me do a horizontal orientation with it. So that's why we Coach Sam Adams and I were sideways yesterday, and I apologize for that. For the time being, we're going to do just videos, and I'll upload them to my YouTube channel, and I'll include the link in, in the other subsequent coverage that we have from these visits. Um, so you'll still get still get the video. It just won't be live. Jeff, how's this offseason been? Been good. Been very good. Uh, you know, we had a good spring training, and I went down to Faulkner and played uh, Highland Home a quarter, uh, Alabama Christian a quarter, and uh, Pike County a quarter. Uh, felt pretty good about it when spring training ended. Uh, went into this summer, and uh, you know we had thir we had thirty workout sessions during the summer, and that includes you know play dates with it too. And um, kids responded well. Um, yesterday was our last w workout before we start up uh, you know preseason practice, and I felt real good about it. So we got thirty eight varsity players, and we got twenty five junior high players, and uh, feel good about this upcoming season. And this is the first year of a new realignment cycle, and how glad are you to be back in the North? Very much so. You know, now, what, one thing is um, the travel's going to be so much better, and but now we still have one big trip a year. We're going to have to go to J.B. Pennington this year. Next year, we'll have to go to Locust Fort. But now, I tell you what, the region's tougher. Mm -hmm. Now, this region that we're going to play up in the North, 3A football in Northeast Alabama is the best in the state. To me, hands down, uh, you know, uh, I think six and seven a football in Birmingham is the best in the state. But I tell you what, if you're gonna play three and four a football, these two regions that we have up here in Northeast Alabama, uh, I'll put them up against anybody. And it's a nine team region. Nine team region, first time in my coaching career I've been in a nine team region. So I said this at media day: there'll be four teams that make the playoffs. And there'll be five teams that don't. And two of those five that do not make the playoffs would be playoff teams in other regions. That'll happen this year. And did that take away from you a non-region game that you normally would have played, say, mid-season or an open date that you would have had? Well, you know, for us, you know, our first regular season game is going to be J.B. Pennington, which is a region game. So we're, we're going to play Mumford in a fall jamboree, you know, and, and break it up into quarters and stuff like that because – we really just didn't need a killer game before the first region game, you know, and, and because of, you know, one, trying to, a little injury prevention, and two, get so emotionally high and then come down and have to play a region game. It's just hard, you know. So, mm -hmm. you know, the way up the region schedule fell, and, and, and we drew our schedules. Well, we all had to draw what schedule we had. And uh, the way ours fell, that, that first plan date is a region game. So, you know. We, we got to come out and have a good start for this season. And let's talk about this team. You had two key losses from last year. Obviously, Noah Screws, your quarterback. Yeah. And you have Isaiah uh, stepping in now. And tell us about what Man, I tell you what, I think he's going to be a really good player. You know, he's young. He, I mean, he, he was our ninth grade quarterback last year. And our junior high had a really good season, and he led them. And he's a, he's a natural leader. Uh, again, he's going to be a 10th grader. Um, he's very football savvy. Uh, I've, I've been around him, you know, gosh, forever. Matter of fact, when, we, when I was coaching in an all-star game, I carried him down there, and he's one of our ball boys. Uh, so he's very, he's real football savvy. Uh, he's got a big upside to him. But he's going to be a 10th grader, and there's going to be times that he's going to make some 10th grade mistakes, and, and, and we know that. But it's not going to be because of lack of effort or lack of trying, that's for sure. Well, tell me about the upside. What, what intriguing abilities does he have? Well, I think he's got a good, strong arm. I think he can throw a football. I think, and I think he, uh, and he not only does he have a strong arm and can throw it hard, he also has touch with it where he could. He's not going to be five feet from somebody and throw a bullet and bounce off of them. He's going to get the ball to to the people, to, well, to the different players. And um, man, I just he's strong. Uh, he's going to be a tenth grader, and you know he 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 benched two sixty five. You know this week, I just. Um, and I just think a lot of he's smart. He, he's an he, he makes good grades. Uh, he's strong. He's a leader. Uh, he's got a good arm about him right there. 
And I'll tell you, he can run the football too, you know. So, I mean, I, but you know, his dad, his dad is uh, Justin Amerson. Mm -hmm. And he was a quarterback at, at Piedmont in 99 when uh, they, they beat us and knocked us out of the playoffs when I was coaching at Ohatchee. So he gets it on us. His dad was a really good player, and so and, and of course his son is too. With a quarterback that's got a big arm and, and good touch, does that, that... Well, I tell you, another thing I like about him is mentally. You know, you can coach as I hard, and he takes to it. He, he, don't, he don't get his feelings hurt because you, cause you coaching him hard. He don't take it personal. He'll take, he takes constructive criticism very well. I mean, he's just a winner. I mean, and I, I'm real excited about him. I, I, I just, I think a lot of him as a person. Um, I think he's a good student. And then I think he's a, he's a tremendous competitor. And look, I tell you something else with him too. He's good in all three sports. He's a good basketball player and he's a good, he's a good little baseball player too. And then uh, six foot four wide receiver, uh, defensive back Jackson Newton's been getting some attention this summer. Absolutely, he, he uh, got an offer from Cincinnati, a reported offer from Cincinnati. Um, sounds like he got an, he's got an intriguing target there. Well, right? Jackson also plays running back for us, so you know he Jack, Jackson's multiple on offense. He plays running back and plays receiver, and defensively he can play anywhere on that back seven. So, uh, you know, um, yes. And, and Jackson, here's a, the story with Jackson is this. You know, Jackson played for us in the seventh and eighth grade. And and going he, we, he was supposed to play for us as a freshman. And he, he was on the team. But he had a, he had like a four-wheeler wreck. And it was a substantial four-wheeler wreck where he hurt his shoulder, uh, uh, cut uh, the tips of his fingers off one hand. And, um, man, he had a time with it. And he, that was when he was a freshman, and he battled back out of it. And 10th grade this past year, he, he started for us. And he, again, he was a 10th grader, so the, he, you know, it's not always perfect, but he's gotten better and better. And, um, you know, uh, I, I'm really proud of him, not so much of his football ability, but I know his story and what he had to go through to get back, and I admire that. Historically, you've had an offense that's, that's run the ball a lot. Is is it is, is this a little different look this year? Well, you know, our offense, you know, a lot of times we get labeled as we're just a wing T team, but we're not. We have never have been. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, the thing that we've done with our offense all these years that I'm very proud of, and it's why I've stuck with it all these years, is it's multiple enough that we can adapt to our players. And... You know the way the way our players are and, and the scheme and everything, we're able to do some different things with them than we did last year because of the skill set of you know some of our personnel. And then of course uh, everybody's pretty well aware by now Javari Williams, who was the one A three A County Player of the Year last year, has, has transferred to Aniston. Who stepped? You, you also lost uh, uh, C J Hubbard at running back from last year. Oh, yeah, sure did. So who steps into those spots? Well, Jackson's going to play tailback for us, and Caleb McCurry's going to play tailback for us. And there's going to be times where we use Kyle uh, Bright at tailback. You know, Kyle plays. Kyle's our starting wing back, and uh, our uh, the strongest player we've ever had at Welburn is Kyle. He 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 had some absolutely great maxes in the spring, and. He probably would have had it the first of the week, but I kind of pulled him back on it right there just kind of to prevent injury. Mm -hmm. But now he, he's very powerful. But anyway, so Kyle, Kyle will play some running back for us. Jackson will play some running back for us. Uh, Caleb McCurry will play some running back for us. And then we got some good young kids coming up too, Maurice Trailer and Demarion Tippins that can play running back also. And, you know, Raymond plays fullback, but he can play running back too. Right? Raymond's a very smart player that – can you know play multiple positions? So we got we got players to fill in, and you know, we feel good about. Defensively, how are how are things looking on that side of the ball? I thought we had a good spring defensively. Really do. I think that might be our strength this year. Um, well, when you start defensively, and if you start with our offensive line, which would include the tight end, I think you start with Ethan. You know, Ethan Ethan Carroll will be a four year starter for us. Uh, he was a, he made all county last year with second team all state plays tight end uh, plays uh, defensive end for us and the best thing about Ethan is he's gonna get down there he's gonna get after it I mean it don't matter who you match him up with he's gonna go out there and he's gonna he's gonna go after him the best he possibly can and uh, he he'll be again be a four year starter for us this year 
Dozier Hayes that plays center for us in nose guard. And, and not only does Dozier play nose guard, Do, Dozier could play anywhere on that defensive line we wanted him to. And, uh, man, old, old Dozier, he's a I, – I can't believe he's a senior. I just mm-hmm. can't. I would just remember – I remember when he uh, they started calling him Dozier and he's playing midget football out here and they just, <laughs> you know – uh, uh, gosh, that's the thing that they grow up so fast. Mm-hmm. But it, he he's such a he's such a good player for us. He plays center and also plays nose guard. And then Dozier's motor always is going. For those who uh, didn't see it, see the media day coverage, yeah. he, sh- he shared the story behind his nickname. How he never went around things when he was little. Yeah. He just ran. He over just plowed them. through it out right there. Yeah, <laughs> and he still. It sounds like he still plays that way now. Absolutely. Got some good seniors. We do. We got we got eleven seniors on the team this year, and and uh, you know I, our leadership team. In the past, I've had about a dozen kids on our leadership team, but this past year we had um, going from our football banquet. Our leadership, the, the team voted leadership guys, and we had four four players who were voted leadership, and those are the ones that they expected to lead us through this next season. And it was Dozier, Ethan, Raymond, and Kyle. And man, I th- when we got through the banquet, usually I add to that, but I didn't this year because I watched them and they have led the team. Mm-hmm. And I, I felt like, I tell you what, in the past I've added some guys to it that really didn't add up to be leadership, you know, when it, when it was all said and done. But these four guys have maintained that the whole time and I didn't add to the leadership team. It's, they're our leaders. Speaking of motors uh, and, <laughs> and people with motors, uh, you're you're, uh, I think, 177 career wins now, 101 here. You passed 100 last year at Welburn. Yeah. Here, and I know that was a big deal for but you. But, you know, when you say that now, that, that's not just one person. There's a lot of people that mm-hmm. are involved in that. And uh, the, um, if you don't believe that, you're crazy. Because now, hey, all these players, all these coaches, hey, these, hey my wife, all, everybody that – Works in there. Works is a part of that. It's not just one person. I might get the credit for it, but it, Lord, it's 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 been the program all these years. And entering sixteenth year, how is your motor running? Oh, some days it's great. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I, I, listen, I, I enjoy it. I do. I, the stuff the stuff I enjoy is I enjoy working with the kids. I enjoy going to practice. I enjoy. Starting to, you know, when the season ends and you start up and, er, you know, got everybody out and you start working to get to this point and you see it get to the team where we build the team, that's what I enjoy a lot. And then we get out there in the game preparation for games and, and seeing the players. See, I get to see them at their best and their worst. You know, a, a student that goes to school, a teacher may see them for 50 to an hour and 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. But see, I, I see these kids every day, and again, I'm out there, and I, I see their true character. I see what they really are, and I, I see them at their best and their worst. And I do feel like this through all these years. I feel like we've made a lot of kids better for being with us and not being with us, and that's what I'm most proud of. Jeff Smith, entering his 16th year as Welburn's head coach, uh, looking Kind of an intriguing team this year, I think. It sounds like things are going to be a little different. Well, it, it is, and I tell you something else, too. You know, we're still putting the pieces together. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of times in years past, by right now, I knew everybody where they were going to play and everything, but even going into preseason Monday, you know, we still got some questions to answer. We got a good idea about it, but I guess what what's intriguing about it is we got people, at this point in the year, we got competition for positions. I like that, you know, it's it's because competition is going to make you better. So we still got people for competing for jobs. And uh, in the past, some years, it was already established who the starters were when we got to this point. That's not necessarily so right now. And, you know, and our, our upcoming 10th grade class, it's got some, well, I got some fine young men in that group. And uh, and, and they're, they're really big competitors. And, and as 10th graders, they're fighting for positions now. And, I, I, again, that's another good thing. Jeff, always a joy. Always oh, good. Thank you for coming. And uh, we'll continue the campus visits tomorrow, and I'll see you then. Thanks for joining us, everybody.